So what does the coalition win at the election on the weekend mean for property prices? And at the same time, there was also a major announcement made by APRA, that's the regulatory body for lenders, uh, so banks, people that lend money. A major announcement from them today. Uh, what impact is that going to have on house prices as well? Because essentially it's going to mean that people just like you are going to be able to borrow more. But guys, before we get stuck into those details, let me introduce myself. My name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to uh, reach their financial goals, whether that be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, and early retirement using only what they currently have available to them right now. So maybe that can help you out. But guys, I'm here to talk about uh, two things, obviously. Um, the coalition win and what that means for property prices and a major announcement in the area of finance today. But of course, look, if this is your first time tuning in, uh, please click follow or subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos. If you're a long time follower, then welcome back. Great to see you again. Of course, you guys will interact with the videos like Love Angry, no matter what uh, social platform you're on. And of course, sharing this with your friends and family so they can get the benefit of this uh, uh, valuable information. G'day Scobes, how are you there, mate? Um, so, uh, like I said, I want to touch on this big announcement. So APRA, the regulatory body for finance, uh, financial institution lenders made a major announcement today. Um, they're going to, uh, well, they're, they're going through a consultation period of four weeks, um, but they're proposing to remove the 7% um, uh, eligibility uh, criteria when it comes to calculating what a person could afford. So essentially, what does that mean? Basically, what it means is this, is that when a bank is calculating what you can afford, they don't do it based on current interest rates or the interest rate they're offering you, they do it based on 7%. This is a requirement put in by APRA to ensure that there's buffer built in for people to uh, allow for increase in interest rates. There's been a lot of criticism of this recently. I mean, APRA have been doing a lot to wind back credit policy, um, reducing loans to investors, interest only loans, and um, also high LVR loans. I've, that's primarily what pushed the downturn in the Sydney and Melbourne market, certainly what also prolonged the downturn in the Perth market and pushed it deeper than it really probably needed to go. Um, obviously with the Banking Royal Commission last year as well, there was also uh, a lot of talk about the household expenditure measure, the HEM is probably how you've seen it, and how they're requiring people nowadays to, um, they're actually going through your bank statements, they're looking at you know how much Uber Eats you've got, uh, you know your Netflix, your streaming, all that kind of stuff. They want to see like three months worth of uh, living expenses so they can determine what you borrow. This is of course put a huge um, anchor on uh, people's ability to, to borrow money and is really, if you can't get a hold of money, you can't buy housing. It's really what's probably driving the major things or the major movements in the Australian property markets at the moment. So them proposing to remove that uh, is going to be significant. It's probably also part of a sweep of changes that APRA and the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, are looking to make in terms of you know Australia's economy is getting a little bit sluggish. They're probably looking to loosen up credit, possibly an interest rate cut at the next um, RBA meeting as well. And I think this will really start to fire things up. But also, we had the coalition win on the weekend. So ultimately, what does that mean for property markets around Australia? Well, the first one is this. So um, obviously, Labor, the last election campaigns have been proposing to the abolishment of negative gearing, a uh, disastrous policy, and I think they kind of really showed up in um, the election campaign. So now that the threat of this has been removed, I think this will really bring some um, more certainty to the property market. Um, I think what it's going to mean if we start with the big market, Sydney and Melbourne, I think we're going to see Sydney bottom pretty quickly, if not already. We've seen around about 15, 16% off the peak there, uh, which is pretty normal for a downturn. Uh, but I think, um, like I said, I think now that we've got some, some certainty with the election and also loosening of the credit policies, that'll turn around. Melbourne probably already has hit the bottom, um, if not turning at the same time, even though it's probably normally uh, will, um, run a little bit after Sydney. Um, there's just better at fundamentals, um, a lot more infrastructure spending, a lot more employment in Melbourne. Um, um, so I think a lot less vacancies as well. So I think what we're going to see is a return to the Melbourne market very, very quickly. This is also got really good news for Brisbane and Perth. Like Brisbane is definitely in its recovery phase. Perth, we're very clear is in its recovery phase now. I think we're going to see um, a, a much bigger tick up in terms of the Perth property market, considering that it's been coming off a very low point. It's been quite low for quite a long time with the slowdown in the mining um, uh, boom. And then of course with the APRA changes, which really significantly um, hurt that. I think uh, Canberra is also going to be a good place uh, for investing over the coming years as well, although I think Brisbane and Perth would definitely be the number one and two. Uh, and then in a couple of years' time, I think Melbourne will return as three. Adelaide, you know, I'm just always cautious about the long term in those smaller cities. Um, so real, I think ultimately what this means, guys, is really, really good news for the property markets now that the coalition have won. Um, this would be a fantastic point to actually get into the market if you're an investor, uh, particularly, look, Brisbane, you probably missed the bottom by a bit. Perth, 
the bottom has or has already been it's only just ticked past it now but if you if you don't move into the Perth market very quickly uh, you will be regretting it Melbourne Sydney probably a little uh, a little uh, bit more time to wait but not too far away guys that so that's pretty much all in from me I really just want to let you guys know about the major change from APRA and what you might be thinking about the markets now that uh, the, the coalition victory is assured um, thanks a lot guys uh, interaction please like love angry question if you've got a question for our just ask Tim video series it'd be great for you to send that through as well uh, if not uh, I'm gonna be coming out with a weekend real estate uh, video probably Thursday Friday this week as well so stay tuned for that guys have a great day please share and we look forward to speaking to you soon thanks a lot bye